Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This video I am going to talk about straight ahead some bitter truth about the CSR net exam, about the upcoming CSR net exam and what I personally think about this exam, what I personally think how this exam is going to be conducted and what is the fate of the CSR net exam. Because I have been receiving requests from my students to make uh, some video regarding CSR net exam because people are disheartened right now. They lose hope. They don't know whether the exam is going to be conducted, when it's going to be conducted. There are ongoing preparation candidates. There are candidates of the earlier sessions. The exams on queue and we still don't know when it's going to be fixed. So if you are an aspirant for CSR net exam, then watch this video to the end. Okay, the very first thing that I make sure the a disclaimer that this video is not a political one, but still I'm going to explain, I'm going to talk about my point of view regarding uh, the whole situation right now in India regarding the exam situation. The thing what happens right now is not only about the CSI net exam, it's about every single important exams. If you think about uh, it's 10th standard exam plus 2 and all the important exams, even those are more important than CSI net. The reason I'm saying that is more number of students appear for that. In CSI net still we can say that 1 lakh uh, students uh, are enrolling for a particular session at max like 70,000 to 1 lakh, 70,000 to 1 lakh and 50,000 uh, only uh, appears for the exam. So in that case compared to that other exams are much more uh, uh, much bigger but still if those are snubbed then obviously CSI, CSI net will be snubbed. But again considering the fact that the research laboratories require uh, the researchers to do the work they are doing the PhD and among them uh, there are the whole panel of researchers that they are involved with the Indian vaccine production and manufacturing all come from uh, this good CSR institutes and after doing PhD from this good, good institutes. So obviously the government should look after all these institutes properly uh, so that the process of PhD preparation and continuation works smoothly so as along with the uh, the same thing with the MBBS and uh, other doctors and nursing as well. But the problem here in India is that what is currently we are facing is actually what happens when your government has the least priority for the education. I don't have any uh, you know political exposure or talking about any other thing but think about it very clearly. In India IPL 2021 was not snubbed. It was snubbed, it was stopped in the middle, suspended in the middle when they found out that some people are infected. But there was no news of CSR net from the last December. An exam that gives you researchers, budding scientists of the country. So what I'm saying is that, think about it, IPL is getting more uh, priority in terms of conducting rather than an exam in India. Now you may ask me a question that in exam that people must travel uh, and uh, they sit uh, next to each other, there is a chance of contamination. The chance of contamination cannot evade by stopping an education, stopping a uh, particular education system where an exam is only 50,000 people appearing for it. I mean actually uh, during the exam appearing for 50,000. I think this is pretty much small a magnitude of the exam and can be conducted. This is my personal opinion, my personal view. You are feel free, you can feel free to write whatever things you think in the comment section. But this is what uh, must happen. And in India is always the same thing. The GDP is not moving into the biological research, the biotech field. Although you are seeing the projections from the last many years, 5 years, 7 years, 10 years, probably you have attended 1000 symposium seminars where the people coming in from the biotech industries are telling you and showing you big graphs. Have you seen this graph manifested? Have you seen this graph practiced at the same way in India? It's not. It's all on paper there is nothing is really applicable right now in India and current situation is the proof of that you need people from this field you need researchers you need people who will work day and night to to complete their PhD to get to the point that they uh, can provide something to the society something relatable something really applicable to the society and still the exam is stopped so uh, that's going to be because uh, CSR has already tweeted this few things that the exam will be postponed and when it's, it will be conducted there is no clue. So this is not going to happen you know we at a generation for this last one and a half year whoever is involved with their career it's doomed. The career is doomed and it's doomed by the Indian education system. Okay. Now what you need to do at this present time if you are a continuing ex aspirant if you are now current aspirant for CSI net exam the best thing here is that Count this as an extra time for your preparation. Count this as your extra time. 
Now the problem I, I know that you are facing right now is obviously this illness because I have seen many of my students are already being infected and their family members at some point of time are infected. So it's very difficult time for every single person of us right to focus on the study to think about what is going to be the future if the future is not secured if the world is not secured then how and why I am even studying why I am even preparing. So this losing hope is something that will demoralize students that is demoralizing students so that's why i'm making this video is that all bad days will over okay nothing can be so bad that can continue forever every bad thing has an end so the situation right now whatever situation is going on right now it will end but it may not end within five months six months may not end even in one year two year but it will eventually end at some point of time so now it's a patience game now it's a patience game. This exam will be conducted. This must not be discontinued. This exam is really important and without substitute, they cannot discontinue the CSI net exam just like that. Okay, So it will be conducted for sure, but not now. So maybe later. And now many ask the question like when the exam is going to be conducted. There are plenty of YouTube videos. I don't watch YouTube videos of any other channel though, but people are telling me, students are telling me that I saw a video that the exam will be conducted on June, exam will be conducted on July and all. Rubbish. Bullshit. 100% bullshit. None of them know anything. Okay? There are channels claiming that they talk to CSR personnel. They don't talk to anyone. CSR personnel don't pick up the phone. Okay? They don't talk to anyone. They don't listen to anybody. If they listen to the students, if they listen to the aspirants, the parents, then, then they, they do not snub, they did not snub the in the very first place. So all are nonsense to gain views, clickbait titles. Don't fall for this. The simple thing, I keep my mouth shut because I did not have any answer to what uh, to your question that when the exam is going to be conducted. Still, I don't have any answer. But what I can think is that if they are going to conduct the December exam, the last December exam, then how it will be a queue, right? Because this exam conduction, think about it. They need to build question paper. And for the question paper, they have a panel set up. Okay. Because it cannot be done virtually. Virtual setup and paper, the paper, there is a chance of leakage. And there will be a leakage of paper. So obviously, they need to uh, be in a team. There is a whole process of how the questions are made. I have discussed it earlier. So when they make this question paper, it will take some time. So they cannot conduct it within one or two months, just like that. It's not possible for them. So the best way to stop or to not conduct the exam is already passed. For example, the December exam, as per my opinion, this is, this is not a uh, news, this is not any true fact, this is my opinion that uh, put all those exams apart. The last December exam, cancel it. The June exam, cancel it. But fix a date, fix a date. Let's say the December 20, uh, any Sunday near 20 or something on the December, then conduct the exam. Conduct the exam. But make sure that the people applied for the last December exam, their age, if they uh, they have the last attempt there, they must get the extra attempt. That the government must provide, that the CSR must provide. A age relaxation of two years due to the Corona crisis. Okay, that's what I think. Cancel both them, conduct one exam in the December 2021, saying that it's a December 2021 net. December 2020, June 21, snubbed, stopped, cancelled, fine. All the students will apply for the December 2021, give maximum fellowship. Generally, they offer 700, 800 people to 1000 people, sometimes 1000, uh, 1500. So, let's assume 1000 people every single session. So, this time only in the exam, give 3000 people the fellowship. In that way also, you can conduct it. Because apart from that, other than that, there is no way to fix it. If you think about it, give the total same number of people, the altogether number of people, the fellowship and also allow two years or one and a half years of relaxation in the age for the Corona crisis and cancel the uh, before the last two exams and conduct this one. And those who already filled the form for the December 20 uh, exam, they will continue uh, to appear in this exam. Just carry it forward. This is what I think. This is what I think is the best way to tackle the situation right now because because if you can, if you want to conduct all the queued exam, it will be a huge mess. How the people will apply, how they will go for it, it will be a huge mess. It will be again a huge pressure and all. So, and one more thing 
to reduce the pressure of the people applying for this because you know there will be queue of people many more people will apply normally 1 lakh 150 apply this time probably 3 lakh people will apply because they are on queue so you can do one more thing conduct the exam in three days in three separate weeks with three different papers that's what Cesar already did earlier due to different reasons so that they can also do you know because students are doing so much extra effort Cesar also do some extra efforts already they make paper that is a, uh, like eligible to make two question papers of, out of it the number of questions that they actually prepare so make some more questions and keep three papers and uh, let uh, people apply for and let people go for the three papers in three separate uh, weeks three separate Sundays in December 2020 and by that way you conduct it you complete it that way it will be finished and after that uh, you can start with uh, just like June and December session from the next year onward because the COVID-19 crisis will not end uh, as soon okay it's going to continue it's going to stay with us for years to come okay it will be there for years to come and may not be like huge crisis of oxygen and all but it will be there of a small spike of the incidents and cases uh, like even if the pandemic is over there will be like sporadic explosion of the disease in different locations and those things will continue but I believe this is the only way to tackle the situation there is no direct reply from CSIR there is no answer for it but I think this is somewhat uh, logical way to continue if you think it's logical mention this in the comment if you think something other way some other approach then also mention that in the comment section share this video with your friends and don't get demoralized because Shomos Valley is always there and we are planning to put some uh, motivational videos regarding study regarding uh, life choices in this channel so that it will help you it will give you some benefit and ease your study so that you continue to focus in your study in the upcoming times. So that's all about it. Thank you everyone.